Welcome back to Bad X Bourbon. I'm Bobby. Man, I love that. I love doing that. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but uh, I lost part of my part of my beard, like the major part of my beard. Had to go back to work. Go back to work. Gotta have that seal on the face mask. Man, I like that beard too. It's really getting used to it. I don't know, man. This is. <laughs> let me know in the comment sections what you think about this. I'm actually gonna let it grow down a little bit more. The regulations say I can, so I'm going to. See if it gets any better. I don't know if I could take this anymore. I'm, I'm having a hard time getting used to it. All right, anyway, that's not what this video is about. My mustache, my facial hair. We are doing something new though. We are doing corn whiskey. You guys heard of corn whiskey? I'm sure a lot of you have. We are doing Mellow Yellow. Mellow yellow corn whiskey. We're keeping this under $30 thing real over here. This is $12 retail. Mellow yellow is $12 retail. For me though, it was free. Because my good friend at NorCal Liquor, Almond, he said, you know what? You're going to do under $30? You're looking at that mellow corn? I'll buy it for you. Here you go. You got it. Um, Almond, thank you very much, man. You don't have to keep doing this, but he is doing it. He likes what we're doing here. I mean, I'm gonna shout him out like I just did. I'm gonna put his information in the description box. NorCal Liquor, my hometown. You guys know where to go. You want good prices, give him the business, right? Keep it local. That's what it's about. All right, a little bit about this uh, Mellow Corn Whiskey. It is bottled in bond, so that's it means at least four years, right? Well, let's, let's jump to the mash bill, right? Let's go, let's go, uh, it's 90% corn. I mean, to be a corn whiskey, it's got to be at least 80% corn. I've learned that. But this is 90% corn, and the other 10% is rye and malted barley. That's the mash bill. That's the entire mash bill. And it's only got to be aged for two years but since this is bottle and bond it's got to be at least four years and it's got to be one distiller one distillery uh, under government uh, supervision as well right so according and this is a heaven hill product this my friends is heaven hill right here right and they say that this is the only extra aged corn whiskey on the market so it's only got to be aged two years in what they say new oak barrels or used oak barrels either one all right it can be it can be in either but it is bottle and bond so that that brings in a whole nother set of rules with the four years and all the distiller distillery and all that so they claim this is the only one that does that so that means it's a hundred proof and I'm gonna find out what corn whiskey tastes like. I don't believe I've had corn whiskey. This is it, Heaven Hill. I'm expecting a little more than just some bottom shelf to where it was. I mean, it is plastic screw top. It actually was on the bottom shelf. The retail price of this is actually $12, even though I got it for free. Thank you, Almond, NorCal Liquors. We're gonna jump right into it, because uh. I'm excited. I'm uh, I'm I'm curious. I'm really curious. I want to know what this is all about. Let's get it going. All right. All right. Let's let's see what this uh twist is like. You know what? That twist wasn't as nice as that ten high. <laughs> Actually, it smells okay on the nose. It's a corn whiskey, so I expect it to be. A little more yellow, a little more light. It's more like a like a Mountain Dew, you know. Yeah, it's it's really light. I'm gonna say really light, but it's not a bourbon, right? It's a corn whiskey. I expect it to be light. Let's let's swirl it up. Man, I got a lot in there. Dang, it's a hundred proof. Get it swirling. 
man, I kind of liking this. This is almost like a no one fireman. This kind of reminds me of a uh, crash rigs here. That's my claim to fame right now in the airport firefighting. That's what I love to do. That's where I am. That's I think that's where I'll stay the rest of my career. That's what I love to do. Yeah. It's not a lot on the nose, actually. It's very light, but there is some corn smell. I mean, I can smell the corn. It's 90% corn. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit. It's gotta be from those uh, those barrels, I guess. Tiny bit, tiny bit of oak. There's just so little on the nose. Really, really not much at all. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go for the palette on this one, I guess, guys. Hmm. Wow. Uh, whoa! 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 That's kind of. Oh man, I'm tasting that corn. Oh man. It's not necessarily bad. I mean, it's a $12 whiskey, right? I got a lot of burn on the palate. Wow. 100 proof. But, man, that dropped a little freaking atomic bomb in my mouth just now. It's a little bit burning in my throat right now. Oh, man. That's my first uh, sip of the night, though. Let me see. Let me see what's coming up next on that second sip. Oh, man. Woo! Uh, those notes I was talking about on the nose, that are very light. They're still light, but they're a little, a little more prominent now. So these were, I don't know if I mentioned it, were in old Heaven Hill barrels from their, from their whiskeys. So there is that too. Let me go some more on the palette. Man, you know what? This isn't too bad. This is better than a lot of higher price whiskeys, I'll tell you that. There's a lot of mid shelfers that this is just as good as. I'm getting some vanilla and caramel in here more vanilla than caramel and a little bit of oak a lot of corn but you know it's for twelve dollars it's bottled and bond that tells me it's aged at least four years under government supervision so my brain wants to expect more out of it but it is only twelve dollars and it's, it's, it's better than a $12 whiskey. This is, uh, this is at least Michelle, I'd say. I mean, it's not a whole bunch of explosive flavors, but this is way better than $12. I'll buy this for $12 all day. Really good for $12. Yeah, that initial initial sweetness there's some vanilla right on the tip there is a little bit of a perfumey finish but it, it goes away there's not a whole long finish it's, this is not complex at all but it does have basic qualities that are there not super long lasting but none of them are off turning so I mean, I hope this stays twelve dollars. This is really good for twelve dollars. I can't get over that. It's twelve dollars is the better than a lot of stuff I pay a lot more money for. And I'm not saying this is excellent. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying it's better than than stuff I pay more money for. Huh? Right on. Right on. It's better than ten high. I tell you that. Man, that initial sip is is a little pleasant. 
it goes away pretty quick. But every time I get that initial sip, it's a nice sweet little vanilla taste with a little bit of corn, tiny bit of oak on the back. That ethanol burn is a cheap ethanol burn, but it's 12 bucks. I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm gonna give it, I'll give this two and a half axes, right on? Two and a half. All right, that's two and a half axes. Well deserving. If we're going off what it is for the price, man, this is bad axe if, it, if we're doing that, but we're not. It is what it is. I can't judge it on price. I gotta judge it on taste and quality. All right, so again, two and a half axes. That's it. Mellow Corn by Heaven Hill. Bottle and Bond. That's it for this one. What we like to say on this channel, sharing good bourbon with friends and family is bad eggs. I'm Bobby. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Right on the corn.